78 degrees overnight tonight. It looks like we're going to have a pretty decent time of it. Southeast wind 5 to 10 miles an hour. Now tomorrow we'll have another shot at the daily dose. Uh, today we had it move on in. Mo much of it was in uh, north central Hidalgo County. Tomorrow we could see much of it in central Cameron County or we'll see. That's the thing with the uh, sea breeze uh, kicked up showers and thunder showers. Uh, it's like trying to nail jello to the wall. Figure out where these things are going to hit in the next day. I'll show you an example as to why that is. Again, 20% chance for shower, thunder shower, coupled with a heat index of 108 degrees is going to make for a very typical valley summer day tomorrow. Now you can see future cast showing by 2 to 4 o'clock in the afternoon. Again, the sea breeze bulldozes its way in. It's just that cooler curtain of air that runs in and it fires up a few showers and thunder showers. Then again on Saturday, I expect to see a little bit more. Let's go from 1 o'clock on through about 3 to 4 o'clock and you can see a move on in. Now we're up to about a 40% chance. We have some upper level low pressure that's going to be working with this to help enhance it a little bit. So we could see some spotty showers there. Even some rumbles of thunder certainly possible. What's going on? As I said, that cool curtain of air blows on inland. The sun heats the ground, the ground heats the air, the air rises, and, well, something's got to fill the void. So the cool air rushes in to fill the void, and then it bumps into the warm air. Now you've got, now you've got trouble, because now you're forcing the warm air up even more. And that is what's helping to spark showers and thunderstorms if all the conditions up here are right as well. I know, it sounds like a big old fishing trip, doesn't it? But if it all comes together, like it can here in the valley, we end up with those afternoon shower and thunder shower bits. And that leads to at least some spits and spots of rain that could be half an inch to an inch. Now, there's less of a chance along the shore, because I showed you it's an interaction. It's when that uh, cool air bulldozes inland that this fires up. So typically, near the coast and on the island, we don't get too much. But as you move in, these things start to mature, these little thunderstorms or showers, and you end up with half an inch to an inch potentially between now and Sunday. And then, on the, then they start to decay, and on the west side, only half an inch to a quarter of an inch to half an inch. So we'll see. We'll see how it plays out, but it's always a lottery situation day to day. The Skeeter cast has it falling all the way on down through the weekend between the spray and the dragonflies and, and the males dying off. Uh, well, at least there's less mosquitoes out there. That's nice. The temperatures will remain in the mid-90s, and we'll have uh, he the heat index there 105 to near 108 degrees each and every day. So be mindful of that. Make sure you're drinking lots of water. Take breaks. Make sure the pets have shade and water as well. There's your little uh, spark up. On Saturday, a better chance with the enhanced sea breeze, and again on Thursday of next week. The weekend overall shakes out with Saturday as the wettest day potentially, and temperatures will be in the low to mid 90s, and that heat index 108. I'll say it again. I don't care if I sound like a broken record, it's worth reminding you. It's going to feel hot out there. Keeping the peace. Well, high pressure is saying nope to development right now. But just wait. You know how the uh, tropical forecast is. A couple days later, all of a sudden, you've got a bunch of stuff blowing up. So we always keep an eye on the tropical forecast. And the seven-day forecast reminds us, again, it's going to be hot, and we'll have a slight chance for a shower each and every day.